Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a wonderful day and today I'm going to be trying out this new mode they added to MCC called Escalation Slayer. If you don't know what it is, it's basically like gun game from Call of Duty. Um, as you get kills, you kind of progress to like the next weapon. Um, and yeah, it kind of just like rotates out. You got to get it killed to move on to the next weapon. And the last weapon is usually like a melee weapon or something. Um, and everyone knows where you are in this mode, so it's kind of hard being uh, or being on the last weapon. But uh, it's it's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun mode, and I've always wanted like new modes like this in MCC. I think this mode is a great addition to the rotational playlist. It's a lot better than um, the usual modes like shoddy snipers, freaking rocket race, and what was the other one? Super Fiesta. You know, don't get me wrong, those modes are cool and all, but having new modes every now and then is really just a good refresher, especially for MCC, seeing like these kind of new modes work on these like really old games, I think is just amazing. So yeah, today we're going to be trying out, um, as you can see, we're going to be trying out the Escalation Slayer on Reach. Uh, I believe there's like a couple variants. There's like a normal Escalation Slayer where it's just uh, random weapons or something like that. Not random weapons, but like, it's every single weapon. And there's like, another Action version sack. where it's only um, Covenant weapons and stuff like that. There's like different variants is what I'm trying to say. So here we go, we start out with the Soul Rifle. I have played this a lot, but um, I don't know, I really... So I have played this a ton, but I do want to share this with you guys if you haven't been able to try it out. Ooh, we got two guys here. <laughs> this guy's just running <laughs> carelessly towards I don't know where. <laughs> Alright, ooh, nice. Kind of stole his kill, I'll be honest. Got Needler, so you go to Assault Rifle. You kind of start out with, like, autos, and then you go to, like, precision weapons, what I've kind of seen. Oh, okay. Ouch, I just got back smacked. Um, if you do, if you stick someone, I forgot to mention that if you stick someone with a plasma, because you always spawn with a uh, plasma grenade, you actually derank them, and they go back to a, you know, a lower weapon. Oh, someone are already quitting. That's the MCC experience for you. <laughs> That's the MCC experience for you right there. People quitting on the daily. All right, the plasma repeater. This gun's kind of hard to get a kill with, man. Okay, never mind. No, I mean, it is hard to get a kill with, but just got a little lucky there. Wait, I just noticed I actually got the ranked. I was already with the plasma rifle. I guess that um, sticky that one guy threw somehow deranked me, but I don't think I got stuck, so that's kind of interesting. For that guy. Blew him up with the Needler. Now we're back to, uh, or not back to, but now we're on the DMR, which is good. Should be an easy kill somewhere. Ah, the, what, what is this guy doing? This guy's challenging me with a plasma rifle. <laughs> That's what you get. Don't want to be shooting across the map with a plasma repeater. Not exactly the thing you want to do. Especially when there's a guy with a DMR. And the needle rifle feels so clean. There we go. Little melee and just a shot to the head. Okay, we got the shotgun. Let's see what we can do here. Go run over here. And just missed up here. Okay. Um, okay. I'll take it. That was, uh... That was a little weird, but I'll take it. Let's see if I can clean up this guy. Oh! <laughs> He's trying to stick me here. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Oh, is this the same guy who was trying to kill me with the plasma? Oh my goodness, he actually killed me with it. <laughs> and here I was telling him not to kill me with it from like a long distance. <laughs> no, that's still him. He hasn't moved up. There we go. Got my revenge there. Yes, there we go. See if I can clean him up. Oh! Oh, god damn it. 
Alright, the sniper should be kind of easier to kill with as well. Um, obviously I just gotta kinda stay at a distance. Pick someone off. There's a guy right here. You know, it's funny how I say... It. Okay. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you just wanna do that as well. <laughs> you just got, kinda have to get lucky there, though. <laughs> I'm kinda like doing the opposite of what I say all the time. I don't know why, but uh... Somehow it's working out. So now we got basically the sentinel here. Oh, okay. Ooh, rocket. Okay, this one should be easy as well. Focus rifle is a little more tricky, but... Rocket should be easy peasy. Yep, there we go. Fuel rod, a little bit harder. Essentially the rocket launcher. Just a tiny bit harder to use, I would say. Go... Oh, now the Spartan laser. This one... Oh. That was close. That was really close. This one's actually pretty hard to get a kill with. I won't lie. I really suck at this thing. Um, there we go. Nice. That's why you got your teammates to kind of back you up. Plasma launcher. This weapon has like... I, I, I forgot this weapon existed. I'll be honest. Yes, I stuck him. The Magnum. Okay, we're almost there. We're just two weapons away. Let's see if I could pick this guy off. He's on the bridge. Don't tell me that. Oh, that's the plasma guy. <laughs> Five minutes oh, the bloom is killing me. Oh my goodness. Dang, I almost survived. That would have been pretty neat. Okay, so now we got the regular plasma rifle, which is... In my opinion, better than the repeater. It's a lot more accurate, that's for sure. But I do like how the repeater looks. It looks like more futuristic, if that makes sense. Damn, okay, he stole my kill. Oh god, not the Spartan either. Damn, that sucks for him. He should have killed me, that was weird. Um, he like kind of like grazed me or something. I don't know, that was weird. Spartan laser is kind of tricky to use. Oh shoot, I might get double teamed here. Did I stick him? I stuck this guy. I might have deranked him. Oh! Yeah, I think the plasma rifle is definitely hard to get a kill with. Probably harder than the plasma repeater. Oh, okay. Alright, I got to find a weapon. Which is a golf club. <laughs> gonna beat someone to death with a golf club. Dude, if someone lifts up here, they're so dead. I'm just gonna bonk them on the head. Smack them around. Oh yes, please come up the stairs. You know you want to. <laughs> He's just running for it. He's got a sniper, so I'm not gonna chase him. That'd be a bad idea. This guy, on the other hand. Don't kill him! Yes! Alright, looks like we took the W there. <laughs> Anyways guys, that's Escalation Slayer for you on Halo Reach. I'm going to make a video on the other modes, or ga or rather games, not <laughs> other modes. But, um, you know, see how different it is compared to Reach's. Um, and kind of just let you guys know. I'm probably going to do like a little review on it, because I think that'd be cool. Um, just sh sharing like what I think is like the best one, or which version, or like what needs improvements and stuff like that. Because I think these kind of modes need to be rotated in a lot more. There was another mode that was unique, like this one. It was called Freeze Tag, and it was for Halo Reach. And it launched back when, I think Reach actually came out on PC. It was kind of around there. They like launched this other mode on the rotational playlist, which was called Freeze Tag. And yeah, you essentially do what the title says. You just freeze people, and you would have to freeze the entire team to win. And it was really cool. It was like with focus rifles. And yeah, you just freeze them out and stuff. And it would be like round based as well. And the, these kind of modes is what we need for MCC. You know, it's nice having the occasional like shoddy snipers and stuff. Because you know, people like those of course. But we do need every now and then we do need um, these unique modes. And I think it's really good that we finally got another one. I, I do think it takes a little too long for them to kind of rotate these kind of modes in. Because we only see these modes like once. 
and they never rotate back in which is really weird just like the freeze tag one i haven't played that one since it launched which was like i don't even know a year ago probably it's been so long i don't even remember but um we do need more modes like this and i'm just glad that we finally got another mode that's pretty unique hopefully it comes back and it's not just a one-time thing like the freeze tag and hopefully we see more modes like this where um, it's unique and something new and refreshing for MCC. Um, I think it would bring people back and it definitely goes well with like seasons. They could probably like launch a new mode every season. Maybe they can try. I don't know. They could like work with the community to like come up with like a unique mode possibly for like each season. So that way each season isn't always just only cosmetics because if I'm going to be honest, I think season six was kind of... It was alright, it just kind of felt like the usual season where it's just a couple new cosmetics. Like, don't get me wrong, it's awesome seeing all this new stuff come to MCC. But, um, you know, I kind of expect a little more, especially since um, they kind of messed up <laughs> MCC. So, I think it's good that they need to like kind of redeem themselves is what I'm saying. Um, and I think they kind of have, but, you know, there's still stuff that needs to be improved and... Enough with me chit-chatting. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I personally think we do need more stuff like this. And yeah, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.